Well, here we are. I'm down at the uh, chosen spot. As you can see, this thing is way far down than its normal depth. Um, I can't tell you how far down, I'm not really sure. But a lot of it's fairly cleared off and a lot of the uh, the ground is kind of exposed. Usually like in the spring and summer, it gets kind of vegetated down here and it's kind of hard to swing. But it's pretty clear. Uh, they've done some clearing all, along the ridge here. So I'm gonna make a, make a path all the way down that way and back once or twice and let's see what we can find. So I'm down by the bank or where the water level's at. You can see the various levels of where the river normally sits going up and probably 30 foot below the sidewalk level down through the park there. All right, I'm ready to go. See you on the first good target. So I got the first one out. I can't tell, but by the way that it feels, I'm gonna assume that it's a piece of lead. Sandy and muddy. Oh well, better than a whole tab, I suppose. Second target appears to be a coin. Didn't expect that, not at all. Oh, it is a penny. I can see the, well, I could see it. Can't see it now. There's good old Abe. So it's, east, it's either, it looks like a memorial, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I'm kind of shocked. I'll put that towards the clad goal. Yes, sir. So the next target is a big iron piece. I'm not sure. I think it might be one of them door locking mechanisms from the old doors. Uh, but it's so caked with mud and right now I can't tell you much. And I can't get it cleaned off hardly at all because it's so wet and cold. Anyway, I'll stick that in my bag and wash it down later. Uh, surprising. Uh, I've made it all of about nine feet. I can't stop digging at all, but uh, I am finding a few decent targets. So this might be okay. Well, the next find is a 69 or a 70, and it appears to be a surface find. Some kind of copper or brass, like a latch. I see it. It's got like a, a loop there that something went through. I'm not sure exactly what it goes to. It all, it almost looks like uh, the thing of it is I can tell it's brass and it's older, but it almost looks like uh, off of fingernail clippers. I'll clean it up and show you later. Anyway, surface find. That's pretty good because it shows that the water has eroded away some targets that were probably previously buried. And like I said, I've only made it about 10 feet or so. So that's a good deal. Let's keep going. The next one is right along the surface as well. And it looks like uh, another piece to something I just found. Or it could be, it's a little brass tab. Anyway, on to the next. So I've gone, I don't know, three to 500 feet down this uh, shoreline. And I am in an area that's uh, considerably lower than wherever I've been before on this riverbank. But uh, a couple comments that uh, I'd like to make. This SP24 and the Simplex in this type of environment is super stable. Uh, I've got no interference, uh, had no real falsing. Uh, everything has been just like it says. Most every target's three to six inches. I've had some that reached seven and eight that were small, uh, mostly trash. Uh, one penny, a couple, of, a couple pieces of copper and brass. This is way impressive in this beach mode. I'm not sure if I'm losing any depth. I don't know, but the dig the deepest target I've dug today is probably seven and a half inches. The weather has broke just a little bit. Hopefully, this next big cold front that comes through doesn't bring what they say it's going to bring and get down to temps, so that we can continue to hunt because I feel like uh, the burden has been lifted off of my chest being able to get out and swing and dig and be outside for a little bit. Alrighty, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the SP24 coil and vent and let you check out some, some beautiful Ohio River scenery. Be back on the next. So going against my normal character, I thought I would be prepared today so that I wouldn't have to track from all the way down there all the way back here so I wore a backpack 
and lo and behold the only thing that I needed to put in there that I didn't have in there so far was my extra battery for the GoPro which my GoPro died down there by said big old tree by the water this just happens to be about the biggest piece of lead I've ever found Gaiac winter green warning this product is not a safe alternative to cigarettes so for the sake of digging it <laughs> there's a light bulb but how often do you dig a hole and pull one out where you didn't break it I'm sure it'll be smashed before I get to the Jeep So an empty packet of mild sauce from Taco Bell at six and a half inches. I can tell you how the rest of my afternoon is gonna go in the park. Might be the end of my day if I didn't have a half mile hike. Pull tab. So it was just a little weird pinched off piece of pipe, but it looks like it's actually part of something that's, I don't know, just looks different. Nice one target. So I decided I'm gonna call this the last signal. There's the Jeep. I'm only 60 foot away. I'll probably dig on the way out, but this might be the last thing that I dig. <laughs>